just because it's protocol, I'm going to very quickly ask first, last name, spelling, and title. No, that's fine. Uh, Kim Schreier, first name K-I-M, last name S-C-H-R-I-E-R, uh, U.S. Congresswoman from Washington's 8th District. Awesome. So tell us about this roundtable discussion you guys are going to have today. Well, um, this is going to be one in a big series of fentanyl town halls, that's what we call them, to be able to come into every community, talk with first responders, people representing the schools, like school, school superintendents, mental health workers, Sheriff, Sheriff Myers, who's so graciously invited us today, Chief Wade, uh, public health workers, in order to really get a sense of the impact of fentanyl, fentanyl poisoning, and the threats and impacts in every community. Awesome. So what would you say is the overall purpose of these? Uh, well, we know that the fentanyl epidemic is horrifying. It's impacting every community in my district, and I want to do everything I can to stop this. And so, so far, I've passed several bills to crack down on anybody distributing. These would include uh, cracking down on online sales, cracking down on social media companies that allow online sales. It would include having parents able to pick up key words that their, parent, that their kids are using so that they can find out if they're being exposed or pushed to. Uh, and it includes lots of funding and support and equipment right. to Border Patrol in order to uh, halt fentanyl coming into our country. I'll tell you one more thing, is that even though most of the fentanyl comes across our southern border and 97% of that is at legal ports of entry and just needs to be detected, the precursors come from China. And I had a very serious conversation with the Chinese ambassador about two weeks ago, really pushing him that he's not doing, that China's not doing enough if they're just not selling to Mexico, that we need to know where it's going in the world that could then get it to the cartel in Mexico. So I expect China to do more to protect the people in this country. Um, is, would you say there's like a specific issue within the fentanyl epidemic that's had the most impact on our local communities, especially here in Kittitas or Yakima County and counties like that? Well, fentanyl is so incredibly addicted and that means that people who are using, because they will feel so sick if they don't get their next hit, are using every couple of hours. And these are powerful drugs that are now very cheap, that are very easy to obtain. And frankly, even when people think they are buying something else, about 60% of the time it is laced with fentanyl, which then makes whatever it is even more addictive. And so. So much of this is helping our police force. We got significant funding for the jail here to be able to do medication-assisted treatment. So we have to get people into treatment. We have to be able to crack down on fentanyl, both at the local level to compel people to treatment, and at the border, and at the sources like China. And I am working on every single one of those. So how are you looking to do those things? Well, I've already done many of these things. Making fentanyl-related substances a Schedule One drug, which puts it on the same playing field as LSD, for example, means there are the harshest possible federal penalties for fentanyl. I'll repeat that. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, one of the things we've already done is make fentanyl-related substances a Schedule One drug which puts it on the same level as LSD, for example, that there is no legitimate use for this, and that way you can have very harsh penalties for using, distributing. Um, and then other things are getting funding to the police department here in order to do med medically assisted treatment in jail to help people get clear-minded and really start treatment before they leave so it doesn't happen again, supporting first responders, supporting the schools, and frankly, I will tell you as a mom and a pediatrician, I remind parents all the time to have the conversation that I have with my teenage son, which is do not take any pill or any substance, no matter what somebody tells you it is or you think it is, 
because it could be laced with fentanyl and it could poison you with one dose and kill you. That this is serious business and I want every single parent to have that conversation over and over with their kids. Awesome, and I have just one final question because I know you have to get started with this soon. So what would you say is your overall, what are you hoping to get out of this roundtable discussion? My goal out of this roundtable discussion is to figure out the impact on fentanyl on this particular community, what I can do to support the community, and I'd also like to know how the jail-based medically assisted treatment is working and whether that is helping people leave jail in a better situation to get treated and get off of fentanyl. Awesome. Anything else you wanted to very quickly add while you have a little bit of time? I'll leave it there, there in the interest of time. All right, awesome. Perfect. I'll go ahead and stop it.